morning. Today is Tuesday, May 11th. Say good morning. It was nice to sleep with that 40 mile an hour wind gust last night, yeah. wasn't it? Yes, it was. I know. Um, it's beautiful. Sun's coming up. Yeah, we're just leaving high top. Um, we are gonna meet Jimmy and I, I believe in about two miles. Hopefully, I believe we'll be successful in her procurement of a sausage biscuit. If not, I have a protein bar. Um, it's 11 and a half to Lewis Campground. I'm going on record right now that I personally don't have a problem with an 11 and a half mile day. Um, you know, we did 14 and a half yesterday. Don't have to push big miles every day. So, especially if we're gonna do laundry. I don't know if they have a laundry facility or not, but it's getting to be time. So off we go. We are almost to Saddleback Mountain, and uh, it was such a pretty morning with the birds singing and all the pretty wildflowers. I figured I'd just film a little of it for you. Yeah, we're about five miles in. It's kind of cool. Um, we get to walk through spring going up and down elevations, the woods here. I don't know if you can see them or not, but these are, yeah, nice, right, pretty little flowers. The whole, uh, the whole landscape of the woods is just full of these things. They're real pretty. Yeah, nice way to start the day. So, okay, kids. Well, I'm uh, just gonna sort of walk through this. Uh, yeah, it's kind of nice. Birds singing, breeze blowing. You know. Oh, what a beautiful morning. No, I'm not gonna break into song. <laughs> I'm out. So, um, this is South River Campground. There's himself up there. Um, we stopped. Um, Jimmy met us, I believe, is hiking today. Um, she's hiking down from um, Lewis, I guess maybe um, back almost to um, High Top. But anyway, we stopped here. Um, just kind of, I was rolling out and stretching and stuff. I, I was trying to get a tight quad. I think that did the ticket. I may not have drunk enough water, so. I'm gonna rectify that, but um, we've only got like 5.3 into the campground. So we decided to just wait and uh, get something out of the camp store um, instead of eating trail food. So it's a beautiful day. The weather is absolutely perfect. Um, and it's been a real fun, pretty hike. So we are about, well, I guess we're a half, we're less than half a mile, but we're pretty close to um, Lewis. And they put those signs, you're not allowed to stealth camp a certain distance from any facility. Um, we haven't really had any problems with it, but it's just something if somebody doesn't realize it. I don't know how strictly it's enforced, honestly. Well, it looks like we have arrived at Lewis. Um, Oh, I think I see Jimmy and I believe sight. So we're gonna get our packs off and go find some lunch. So right there is the camp ground office and directly behind it is a hiker cabin. And um, 
I believe told me how much it cost. I don't, I don't remember. I'll put it in here, but it has like four bunks. So this is really awesome if you want to stay here. Um, there's a bathroom here. I mean, the trail is literally, literally just right over there. And then there, um, up there, up that road is a camp store and another bathroom with showers. So um, I meant to film that as we came back from the camp store and I forgot. So I believe in Rich and I are doing about 3.3 from, where did we get out of the car? Boots something? Booten's Gap. Booten's Gap. And we've just come over Bear Trace? Bear Fence. Bear Fence. See, with me, you just kind of get the general idea of what the name is. It's never usually right, but <laughs> we just came over Bear Fence Mountain and uh, we saw a few stealth sites right around um, the trail to go up to the top of Bear Fence. They weren't fabulous, but if you were absolutely desperate, they could work. And uh, so we're going back to Lewis for the evening. I do not have my pack because I'm taking advantage of it, but Rich does. So I better put this down because as you can see, it's getting a little rocky. So I am in the store and this is amazing. Um, the dryer is broken, but they're going to let you use yours. The washer is a dollar, but look at all this. They have free laundry soap and dryer sheets that you can use and loaner towels, which is amazing. And shampoos and conditioners. This is all just so awesome. So I'm gonna go get a shower now. But yeah, this is in the store. Well, actually, I'll take you around the store real quick. Body wash, that's awesome. So yeah, here's the store. And they've got all kinds of stuff for resupply. Um, yeah, and I'm kinda hurrying because I need to go get in the shower. So, okay, well, I'm gonna go get my shower. <laughs> Hi there. Hey guys. It's late, so this is gonna be short and sweet. Oh. <laughs> it's, yeah. Yeah. The rest of the world is really not late. Yeah, Hikers, well, it's yeah. 833. But um, we had a great night last night at High Top. Um, yeah. And then got up early. We're out of camp by seven, which could be a record for us. On trail, 701. Yeah. And, yeah, and we hiked, um, met Jimmy at a picnic area, stopped and stretched and came in to, um, yeah, where are we? <laughs> I'm so tired. Where are we? We're in Lewis. That's where we are. Lewis, We're Lewis. Lewis Campground. Yes, and Chris at the camp store. Oh, my gosh. She couldn't have been nicer. She um, helped us get our laundry done if she you know, she keeps the store open a little later and um she and another one of the ladies that work there yeah you know, nice they, folks yeah they had loaner towels they have it's a good place to laundry stop laundry stuff it's right off trail yeah Laund well i put i put a little clip about it in our laundry video. showers good yeah. store yeah so anyway um could actually resupply there yeah so tomorrow we're gonna try to get up early and be back on trail seven again yeah <laughs> shooting for a trend here yeah <laughs> So, um, you know, we may try to go to Skyland, um, to the restaurant. We're just kind of playing it by ear because, uh, Jimmy and yeah. I believe, um, we'll be here one more night and then we're going to have to fly solo. Our goal is to be at, uh, Front Royal right. Saturday. Um, even a bigger challenge now in getting videos done is, you know, as you know, my power brick died yeah. and thank you to my daughter and her boyfriend and Heidi for sending us a power brick to AT stumble Hyder in. support staff yes. <laughs> headquartered yes. in Austin, Texas. Yes, so it'll be coming to stumble in. It's Don't forget Heidi in the morning, there. you Instagram folks. Yeah, Heidi Heidi has her own Instagram page now. <laughs> She's so adorable. But So anyway, obviously we're tired. We're babbling about things that have absolutely the hike today nothing was, to do with the, the hike, trail. <laughs> the, the weather today was perfect. The hike was really nice. Um, you know, we were definitely hiking in springtime. A lot of flowers, beautiful forest. I took a well, you'll see the videos there. You'll you've seen it, I'm sure, by now. So yeah. So blah, it was a good blah. day. Um, and yeah, I'm so yeah, tired. I mean, I'm not going to put the video the together until the 15 tomorrow. mile day. Did okay. Neither one of us are broken. Mm -hmm. So, you know, but we're going to try to not go. We're going to try to stay around. You know, 14, 15. <laughs> we are. No, I'm serious. I mean, I don't care. I don't, I'm, I don't want to get hurt. Absolutely not. So. Um, 15 we, seems to be a good number for us right now. We're going to try to hang in there. Yeah, we, we've just got to be in Fort we, and uh, 
front royal by Saturday. Yeah, I mean, there's some days where weirdnesses on trail make you have to push, you know, more miles but, just because of the logistics and stuff. And um, but I really think that that's not a good idea. So I think no, it's we're going to lay idea, up short instead. You that's know, that's why we're taking it easy. So if we do get you know, a week or so down the road, you know, we need to pull a 20. We'll be able to do it if we have to for some god-awful reason. Can somebody please just come on trail and slap him for me? Because we're not pulling a 20, okay? okay. <laughs> See a week from now what happens. Yeah, no. All right. Well, I'm going to bed now because he's making me crappy. Yeah. <laughs> you got to eat those, some more of those potato chips. Maybe that's why you're crabby. No, I'm crabby because you're talking about 20. <laughs> crabby potato kids. Night. Night. Mm -hmm.